I am honestly not ready for any endgame content in Power World. I spent too much time trying to make good base setups and a farm and farm up as much material as possible. But once I got my ultimate breeding ranch base up and going, I started getting things together. And though it was tough, Belenor is something even if you do not have a single max level pal, you can conquer. Flame078 here and let's talk on how to deal with Belenor, the Dark Empress. So let us quickly run through the needed information to pre-pre-prepare for battling Belenor for the first time. Understand that she is someone you can summon at your base with the statue you unlock at level 33. You collect the slabs needed by clearing out dungeons around the map and there are two versions of her, a level 30 Belenor and a level 50 Belenor Libero. Sadly, Xbox players are currently dealing with the game crashing anytime you try to enter a dungeon, so that is still something that needs to be fixed. However, I can get through them by being patient. I usually crash, then get in, then crash again, then try one more time. I usually found that if you run straight to the boss once you get in, you'll be able to clear the dungeon and move on. However, there's a workaround for the level 30 Belenor. At Sanctuary 3, you can search the chest and have a chance of finding the fragments. I did this to get basically two slabs of level 30 Belenor. So now what do you do at your base to get ready? Alright, so you can summon Belenor outside your base, however this puts you at a basically 1v1 situation with her, and I personally don't recommend doing that, but I have seen that you can take and place the structure outside, so if you really wanted to avoid destroying your base, you could do that, because trust me, your base will get destroyed. And why not take advantage of having 20 pals fighting by your side? And yeah, I tweaked my server settings to give me 5 extra pals, as I did not like only having 15 at my base. But Belenor is a dark type weak against dragon, so these are the pals you want to stock up on. With my ultimate breeding ranch base, I focused on getting Quivern and Orsic. And as backups, I had Esther gun who I already had to make my miners for my mining farm. You also want to optimize their skills so equip dark attacks on them. I actually got a stockpile of fruits thanks to my main base location, which of course if you want some inspiration, it wouldn't hurt to check out that video to know what I mean. Even with the numbers, you need to beef up your pals so the quickest way to level up your pals is to have them on your base and start crafting a ton of things. You get like 2 XP for every crafted item, so crafting paladium from stone or charcoal from wood is literally the way to go. A couple of batches of max production and you can bring a level 1 pal to pretty close to level 30 fairly quickly. But now you are almost ready, now you gotta prep your base. I fought Belenort twice, I lost the first time due to a timeout, but that's because of how I did my prep the first time around. I was worried about my pal box so I tried protecting it from the battle, but the thing is I just left my pals having terrible pathing and made things difficult. A second mistake I did was not keeping my rifle ammo and being passive during the fight. I planted machine gun turrets thinking it would help, but honestly they didn't. So if I would have fought her without making these two mistakes, I think I would have beaten her the first time. So my takeaways are, keep the base pretty open and move your valuables away and make sure to have ammo so you can fight too. But keep in mind things are still going to end up pretty messy. So that is everything to gear up for your fight with Belenor. Like I said, I fought her twice, the level 30 version, first time due to those mistakes I mentioned, which was not fighting at full strength, aka using my guns, and also having a cluttered battle space, I timed out and couldn't beat her the first time. But don't worry, I beat her the second time. The battle itself gets really clustered, like I mean a lot of visual clutter. So sometimes I did lose track of Belenor. The gear is pretty worth it. The climber shirt is awesome and trying to be her more times to get those ability glasses should be your goal. At least if you want to gear up for PvP. It sucks Xbox players have to deal with the crashing. It does make it a little bit challenging to farm up the slabs, but at least you can grind the level 30 version fairly easy. If you found this helpful, leave a like and subscribe. And I have two more quick Power World videos that also help me get ready for Belenor live right now. Flame078 here. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Adios.